G'day everybody, welcome back to Hi-Fi Rush. Now, in the previous episode we finally defeated Rekka. And uh, yeah, we're back here at the hideout. I've been, you know, doing a few things here and there, purchasing a few new moves, having a chat with Peppermint, playing with 808. But uh, most importantly, I have spent several hours now practicing a few of our moves and uh, using the training room but uh, I do have I guess one complaint about the training room you can't exactly fight against more than one enemy and uh, that's a bit of a problem I mean it's great for sort of getting down the basics but uh, you know most of the fights we're fighting against like four five maybe six enemies at a time so um, <laughs> there's that but anyway, hopefully all of my training will uh, <laughs> yield some results in this episode. But without further ado, let's get things going. Uh, let's go with our thoughts for a second. I wonder if Peppermint's doing the I'm being nice to you but secretly pissed at you thing. Isn't she always doing that? There's so much empty space here. It's like there's supposed to be more people or something. Mm, okay. I bet if you could talk, you'd say I looked pretty cool back there. Maybe one more time. I bet if you could talk, you nah. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get the show on the road, shall we? All right, let's get this over with. All right, mission report. So according to the files I stole, Spectra is a multifaceted cognitive AI algorithm. I see. You know what? Let's keep tech talk to a minimum. Anyway, Spectra is an AI, and AI development happens in the R&D branch. And the R&D branch is deep below the island, using magma as a natural power source for development experiments. That is not good. Actually, it is. Being underground lets us potentially avoid security. Plus, the lava is actually a natural and environmentally friendly source of energy. Okay, sure. Anyway, who's this guy? That's the head of R&D, Zonzo. <laughs> he runs the whole branch from the AI labs. Which means I'll probably run into him. He looks insane. Reviews from workers aren't too hot on this guy. He's a perfectionist. Scrap and build until it's right. You build it, he scraps it. Creator complex, but that hair. Neural interface. His ideas are everything, so he modded himself to directly input his concepts into the work pipeline. Anyway, we sneak in, hack his computer, download and destroy Spectra, and get out. Sounds simple. So this Zonzo guy, when he was introduced, that was like a direct reference to, I think, JoJo's? Chai, you get there yet? Ow. Yeah, I think I found it. Okay, a lava stage. Typical. Alright, um, let's look for stuff, first and foremost. Secrets? Any secrets hiding? Right here? Because, uh, you know the devs like to hide stuff, like, right at the beginning, right? Alright, let's go. I probably don't need to tell you this, but don't step in the lava. Ugh, give me some credit here. Didn't want to take any chances. Okay, nothing there. for any suspicious individuals. Human. Messy hair. No need to panic. But if encountered, please run away and contact security. Alright. Uh, I thought we were fighting Zonzo in this particular mission. But, uh, anyway. We'll just have to see what happens. They've been planning some R&D expansion in that area. Should be your ticket in. Yeah. As long as I don't melt first. 
Okay, any secrets we need to keep an eye out for? I mean, I haven't seen anything. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it. So those were the magnets that took us here, and... I don't know what that screen's all about, but, uh... Switch it up! Light him up! Government! Come on! You called? Government! Your turn! Yeah! Okay, can't seem to shoot it down, but anyway, let's keep going. I hope the pacing of the game is okay, guys. I know I'm t sort of taking my time here, trying to look for all of the secrets. Hey, you! Okay, this is a new one. You're not part of my crew! <laughs> Nice. Cat time. Let's go. Your turn, Peppermint. Go get him, Sky. Nice, look at that. <laughs> Alright, my uh, my hours and hours of training are paying off, guys. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you'll have to forgive the previous episodes. <laughs> but I'm finding it a lot easier now that I sort of know a little bit more about the basics of the game and, you know, just generally how to use, um, you know, peppermint and all that. Let's have a read here. R&D service log part one, service robot log, day 1903. Here we go, first day in the game. I may just be a service robot, but by the end of this I'll be calling the shots. Sure, they have me posting arrows around the construction site, but hey, people need to know where to go. First I show them where to go, next thing I'm telling them where to go. Just wish the rock area was a bit more stable. Okay. I'm guessing it's telling us that uh, this area is sort of unstable, somewhat. The, the rock area. It's like, like this thing is actually moving right here. <laughs> anyway, uh, good message that one. Uh, you may start from the bottom, but uh, you know. You're only headed up, I say. Ooh, there's a yellow one right here. Can we do anything with it? Absolutely not. So, found a small hidden cache there. Very nice. I like hidden things. Okay, just making sure to look around. Looks like some explosives set to clear the rock formations. Well, let's clear them. Peppermint! You got Hey, nice. Okay, exactly what we needed. Okay. There's some stuff down there as well though. Let's just see if we can head anywhere. Ah, okay. So I'm not entirely sure which way is the right way, but let's go here first and then we can always go down. Ooh, look at all of this. Nice. A 
Let's see what's going on with these Vaser units. It's too hot. I can't do it. We aren't even programmed to feel the heat. Fix the generator. <laughs> but I'm tired. Why do they always pair me up with you? I never get anything done. All right, let's head down. Nice. So that's one of those Armstrong circuits. So with that, I think we should be able to buy like a new upgrade, hopefully. Um, like a new passive ability. We'll see. But now my only goal is trying to get through at least half of this stage, at the very least, without dying. But, uh... <laughs> We'll see. Sorry, guys. Okay. Now, guys, uh, I'll just explain something to you. Um, the reason why I'm having a bit of a hard time here is because I'm actually using a PlayStation controller to play this game. <laughs> sort of, uh, it's sort of emulated to be a, an Xbox controller. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm having trouble sort of matching the 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 right keys here. Jeez, <laughs> let's try this again. All right, I'll get it. I'll get it, guys. Jeez. Okay. That was an ordeal, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright. Let's hope that there are not too many more of those things. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah. I should have <laughs> planned that a little bit better. Nice. Give me that health. Definitely gonna need that. Peppermint, come on! Need help? Reverb gauge on demand. Use an overcharge battery with down pad to instantly gain two reverb gauges. Uh, an overcharge battery won't disappear after a battle, but will at the end of a stage. So don't forget to use it. Okay. Um, there's probably a very high chance that I will forget it, but uh, <laughs> we'll see how we go. Not much but rocks down here, but sometimes you gotta break the tension. Okay. Does he say anything else? You don't rat on me. I don't tell anyone you're not supposed to be. I mean, th this guy's like fishing in the lava. I mean, like, what are you expecting to to catch down there? Peppermint. I'll take my air conditioning. Thanks, though. Ah, oh, speaking of air conditioning, it is bloody hot in my room right now. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, you might be wondering why I'm not like running the aircon in here. Well, uh, when we record videos, unfortunately, the mic is so sensitive that it picks up everything. And uh, bloody hell, it is boiling. And then the PC is running as well. It is hot. So uh, I'm getting the vibes right now of this place um, but look at it it is really really nicely designed as well so this game is awesome so far acting the music the set design everything anyway enough admiration ah here we go Go get 
Not bad, not bad. Could have been better though, I think. We took a few hits, but uh, that's okay, that's okay. Definitely getting used to all of the combos. Uh, now, which way did we come in from? I think we came in from there. Okay, let's just look around for the odd secret. Just in case. Can't break that down. Okay, I don't think there's anything in this area, so let's keep going. Oh, shaking. Probably nothing to worry about. Yeah, probably nothing. Okay, don't see anything. Anything behind here? Nothing. Okay. Volcanoes, Peppermint! Usually that's implied when talking about magma. Communication is important to a working relationship. Well, next time, communicate to me when you're gonna mess up my plans again. She's got a point there. Oh. Okay, got a little bit too close. Oh, big health pack. Oh. Okay. Much, much needed health. Um, unfortunately, those enemies don't really drop that much health, do they? Or maybe even at all. So, we're gonna have to rely on finding Workplace health. Workplace safety is our top priority. This volcano is deemed perfectly safe and harmless by the R&D investigation team. <laughs> sure. Okay, this place is like a bit of a maze, to be honest. Of course we can follow the arrows, but uh, you might not find everything if you do that, so... Nice, so... Piece of a health tank, very good. Um, anything else I'm missing around here? I don't think so. I think it's uh, about time to keep moving. Up here, I assume. Nothing behind there. Okay. Uh, I don't think we can come back after this one. Oh, I could destroy that one that time. Hmm, maybe it's about distance or something like that, so you have to sort of get a little bit closer. Anyway, let's go. Yes, more fighting. 
new enemy type as well. Okay, he looks like fun. We got a weird one. Look at that! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy, guys. I'm so happy that uh, my training... What, three? Four hours of training, I think? Uh, has been paying off, so... <laughs> haven't died a single time. Now watch me die, like, immediately after this. Ooh, dead Vaser there. Poor fella. Well, I don't exactly know if these robots die exactly, but, uh, you know what I mean. Just checking back here, I feel like we hadn't really looked around. Just in case. Definitely need to investigate every nook and cranny. Okay, let's, uh, see if we can get as much or, sorry, as many gears as we can. Okay, it's broken. Let's keep going. Let's have a read of this. R&D service log, part two. Service robot log, day one, 10, 25. Maybe a bit over my head here. Got a lot of arrows, and I mean a lot. Actually don't know what to do with all of them. Way more than I need, but I won't let them go to waste. What's easier to understand where to go? One arrow or 10 arrows? I already overheard my work being noticed. A lot of arrows around here. Yep, that's me. And you know what? I bet that guy ain't lost. Word spreading, and soon enough, I'm there at the top. <laughs> Good to be optimistic. Uh, is this where we're supposed to go? I'm not entirely sure. I don't actually see the arrows around here. Yeah, actually the arrows are pointing that way, so... No, actually, we came from here. I, I just missed that box. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Ooh, what's going on there? Don't you think we have enough signs? Of course not. What if I get lost? There's arrows everywhere. 
Why not just make an easy to understand route? Gotta question everything. You programmers. That, that's why you got transferred. Uh, so this is a new unit. We haven't seen this unit before. PGR or something like that. I guess it's uh, supposed to stand for program or something? Programmer? Perhaps. Anyway, let's uh, check what this is. Okay, it's definitely interactable, but probably not yet. Try this out. Let's go. Your turn, Peppermint. Need help? You know, something that I was expecting was uh, being able to sort of get new abilities after defeating Rekka, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. So I thought maybe we would get her like brute strength or something. But uh, Try this out. anyhow, let's uh, keep moving here. Okay, here we go. Okay, pretty good. We did get a few hits in though. Oh, they did get a few hits in. But uh, that's okay. We managed to survive. We got half health still. And I'm pretty sure we'll find some health packs along the way. I'm assuming at this stage, but anyway. <laughs> Always good to stay positive somewhat. Okay, very nice. Let's have a read of this data pad. R&D service log part 3. Service robot log day 1, 1.30. Phew! Placing arrows near the volcano. Not safe, let me tell you. But you know what? Sorry, but you know what's even worse? Getting lost. Not knowing where to go after you've reached the volcano. I'm not just doing a service here, I'm basically running the place at this point. People look to the arrows with respect. Find one person here that isn't amazed by the pure, brilliant subtlety of the placement of these things. The angle, the pivot, the subtle roll. This will basic sorry, this is basically art at this point, and I can't see anyone filling these shoes. <laughs> nice. Alright. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, that that looks totally safe. Okay. Good thing these things don't actually get submerged by the uh, by the the magma there. Actually, I just wanted to have a look back over here just to make sure we haven't missed anything for certain. Okay, and actually a bit of a pathway over here as well. Nice. Uh, let's see if we can get something really good here. Nice, okay. I wonder if it's always going to be a life gauge piece, but uh, yeah, anyway, I won't say no to a life gauge piece because uh, some extra HP is always nice. Oh, you know, speaking of extra HP, I totally forgot to switch out our, um, our special attack to... Uh, to the one that increases our HP, but uh, we have been doing really, really well so far. Uh, <laughs> knock on wood, uh, hope I'm not jinxing myself. R&D service log part 4, service robot log day 1, 155. What was it all for? All these arrows to lead to a rail? We can't even use this. It's like I was put on this planet for something else. Like these arrows weren't for me, but for some greater being, those who come next. I slipped on a loose rock, ankle ball joint is messed up, this may be my last sign, better make it count. This is the way out of here, don't lose hope, and don't get too involved in the job. I already sense it, my replacement. I'll be lost in time, forgotten, but I'll have shown the way. And that's what counts. Hmm, okay, that's a nice way to look at it. I know uh, a, a guy, or two, who's, uh, you know, too serious about the the day job and not their passions and uh, yeah sometimes it's a little bit heartbreaking <laughs> here we are indeed ha ha terrible chai just get in just, there just, just go home Let, let's go home right now all right since you continue to avoid my email sanzo i'm making this public no more budget approvals until this defect fiasco is done with Full stop! Don't you dare interrupt my creative process, Roper! The gears are turning in my mind with passion! I don't care about passion, I care about profits! Ha! Spoken like a true money man! Enough! Just have security with their orders! Upper management doesn't seem to get along. When do they ever? Let's just keep focused. Alright, well, uh... I don't know, guys. Uh, I mean, that Rockford guy. Obviously, we did meet him in the uh, <laughs> in the team meeting that we, uh, you know, uh, joined in the previous episode by accident. And uh, yeah, he's uh, I think South African. Really interesting um, voice acting there, and uh, I think it does does it some justice actually. So uh, I'm not entirely sure which way we're supposed to go here. Uh, I mean. There's the R&D department up there, or we can go down here, which is... Well, it says authorized personnel only. I'm guessing that the door is probably not going to open for us. But anyway, let's... Uh, ooh. Before we miss that, let's, <laughs> let's grab that. I just uh, caught that. All right, let's uh, have a look at this one. Zanzo's order request. Order request 0577120, filed by Zanzo. Look, clowns, I don't care if this door isn't connected to anything yet. I want this entrance looking perfect, perfect, so install this door ASAP. People, especially Kale, come to visit R&D, and the first thing they see is an unfinished entrance. What does that all say about us? That we're half-baked, that we don't have a vision. You only get one Im one first impression, or two, if my next idea pans out, so don't make me look bad. Z. Alright. Cool. 
Um, so I'm guessing this is just like some fake door. <laughs> yeah, it definitely doesn't open. Anyway, let's uh, do what we do best, breaking down vending machines. Alright, very nice. Okay, here we are at the R&D department, guys. Uh, so, I'm guessing we'll have quite a bit more of an adventure inside. But, uh, I think this is a good place for a little bit of a break, guys. We've been doing really, really well this episode. <laughs> so, I'm really happy with myself. And uh, hopefully you guys can appreciate uh, all the blood, sweat and tears that went into the training that I went through to do well for you guys. I hope you're proud. <laughs> Alright, leave a like, dislike or a comment or two down below. Stay true and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.